Even though Kansas is basically Nebraska's butthole on a map, the fishing opportunities are levels above the cornfield state. And I am going to spend the next 36 hours taking advantage of I got some giant. Big swimmer. Got something. <laughs> See if I can not screw this one. Got him. That's big. That's big. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, man. He's going in the freaking tube, man. I'm borderline meltdown mode right now. If I lose this fish, I'll cry, Nathan. Yeah, called it. Good one. <laughs> yeah, got one. <laughs> Hell yeah, man, dude. That thing slammed it. All righty. Last Kansas Tour, the Kansas Tour 1. This crazy raging tube spillway is where we started. Did it kind of in a little bit different order, and I'm glad we did, because this trip has been absolutely phenomenal. And uh, yeah, we still got Dylan. We got a lot of raging water. We still got some Chad, and we got a lot of lures, so see if we can make something happen. It's kind of like midday. I should probably be back at the cabin like napping or something, but napping is for sissies. But yeah, I do plan on fishing most of the night, so eventually we're gonna have to get to the cabin. I'm not sure if it'll be in this video, but I'm just rambling now and stuff. Alrighty, windy, pretty high up. Luckily I did uh, actually remember to bring my drop down net. I probably should have remembered to actually take it out of my truck, but We'll, we'll figure that out when the time comes. And uh, for now, Dylan's here, so that'll be, that'll be helpful. Once uh, he has to leave at four, so we only got a little bit. I don't even know what time it is, but anyway, come along with me. This is number three on the Kansas Tour 2, and uh, hopefully it goes as well as the first two. It's been a blast so far. Got some fish in the cooler, got some bait in the cooler. I mean, we're just doing well. Let's keep it going. Stuff things, but. I've been real confident at the other spots though. I'm not really feeling too confident here, but you never know. Dylan fishes here a lot. He lives close. And he seems less excited about this spot as well. So. God, that is deep. So deep. I'm gonna lean it up against this trash can. So the wind doesn't blow it over. And then last time I was here, caught some crappies and some saw guys and some random shit, vertical jig and a blade bait. And so that's what uh, I'm gonna start with. He's using a crappie jig. The other guy up there is using a crappie jig. Guy down the way is throwing a cast net for shad. And yeah, nothing. Nothing else to really cover. Let's give her a shot. And if it's not working, we got plenty of places to fish, so. We'll move on if it ain't happening, my friends. We will move on. Got something. Got something. Got something. Ah, decent drum, bud. Hammered it. Hammered it. I don't know if I can get him up. He's kind of big. I'm going to have to walk down. I don't want to throw him from up here anyway. He did not fight at all. I'm going to have to be careful on those rocks. And you guys probably can't even hear a damn thing I'm saying. Because of the wind, but we got one. At the old big spilling way. Not exactly what we imagined. And Dylan's probably like, where the hell is this guy? But, Mr. Drumbud certainly smashed it. You ever seen hairy rocks before? Them rocks are hairy. I mean, I'm talking about eight. The slice blade bait. Deep. If you are interested in upping your spillway drum bud game, dial 1-800-SLICE-BLADE-BAIT. 
discount code STASH and stuff. Cool, mangy, real mangy. For his sake, I kind of wish it was a real meal for him instead of a blade bait, but for me, I'm glad it was a blade bait instead of a real meal. Caught a few drum already on this trip, but that was probably the longest. Definitely probably the longest, maybe. All right, let's head back up. Just seems to be a better angle from up there. I tried fishing down here for one cast, and then also last time I was here, I tried fishing down here. Just didn't work as well. What'd you get, a crappie? Huh? Crappie? Yeah, was it? Seriously? How big was it? Like 12 or something? I caught the most decrepit drum bud I've ever seen. Huh? I caught the most skinny drum bud I've ever seen. <laughs> I lost the bigger fish though. Did you? I almost caught like a snack. There's no snack up here. None? I got something. Yeah. Oh, there you go. What you got? Feels snagged. Saga. Snagged saw guy. Keeping the tradition of the float tour going. You might have at it. Yeah. Blade baits catch the shit out of fish, man, but they <laughs> sure they sure can run into fish as well. Ah. It'll be alright. You weren't kidding, that was right up close here. Uh, that's a fish. That's a fish. I thought you were snapped for a second until I saw it. Huh? Drum bud. Drum. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he feels big in this current. Yeah, that was, that was one heck of a bow. He definitely ate it. Jesus, drum bud. Ripping line. <laughs> What's wrong with you, little fella? <laughs> Did you drop me for that one or no? I don't think so. I might regret it, but you saw how many blade baits I have. If I lose one, I guess, oh well. He looked small down there, but he's actually kind of big. A lot healthier than my first one. Getting a little chilly again. I just said it was hot and now it's chilly. All right, well nothing crazy, but. Catching fish from on top of this spillway is pretty sick. Pretty sick. I don't know what the hell my catfish pole is doing down there, but I don't really care. I'm getting bites up here, slash running into things. That was so loud. I mean, obviously it echoed because of the hole, but like, but shit. <laughs> but shit. <laughs> Sorry, drum bud. Yep, different kind of breeze coming through now, man. Another one. Yep. Uh, I don't know what that was. That kind of looked like a white bass. But I don't have braid. I have like six pound test on my spinny rod, and yeah, no. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it. it might work. Also, I might use the ultra light here with that death bait. I got some giant, and I don't care if it's a snag carp. I actually want to see this one because <laughs> this seems giant. Drum, a big drum. Holy shit! We might need the net for buffalo, that one. Oh, buffalo. it's a buffalo. It ate it though. I don't yeah, know. Back no. Okay, let me sit there and get. Or you can just like, once you get that tied on, if you just hold this, I can run and grab it too. Whatever you want to do. He feels heavy enough that I don't think I can yeah, get him no. up though. <laughs> New species. What number of species is that? Wow. Damn. I probably didn't do a fantastic job showing every single one of them, but we got 12 species in one day. Come on, Buffalo Bud, get in there. Oh no, that's all right. We'll count oh, it. No, no, no. 
That's it's all right. We'll get it out. Do we count that as our 12th species? That, yeah, that, yeah. That's I mean, I had it on for that's like five minutes. Yeah, that's it, definitely a catch. It gave up 45 minutes ago. We up just, here, I usually call those catches because it's just it's difficult to land fish up here sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, you got the bigger one. He was definitely hooked in the mouth. Oh yeah. Suck. All right, Dylan's out. We're on our own, kids. Why do I? Ah! That was giant. <laughs> Definitely didn't eat it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why I called you kids again. But we're on our own. And I don't think we're going to give it too much longer. Because the only thing we've managed to catch in the mouth is drum. And yeah. Using the drop down net by myself is going to be pretty hard. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just being a maybe I'm just being a whiny ass baby. I don't know. Seems hard though. We got places to be. We got chores to do. So can't be wasting time with this if it ain't good. And stuff. Got something. Now the drum bud. Uh, that was a little tiny flathead. <laughs> Damn it, that would have been species 13. And it definitely ate it. It was like the tiniest little babyest flathead though I've ever seen. It was like a 10 incher. Fish tank size. I don't know what, but I got something. Uh, channel cats. Nice. Kinda, I mean, channel cats are kinda not that exciting and something I have in Nebraska and they're a lot bigger in Nebraska. But it's something. He definitely ate it. Or is it a blue? Hard telling. We should be able to flip him though. He's almost too big to flip. Mainly just cause the braid will cut into your hands if you're not careful. Got him got him he looked a lot smaller down there he's not big by any means and he's kind of skinny but we'll take him we will take him why didn't you eat the shad bud guilt not that cool but cool that was much better landing than the drum bud almost head first not quite but almost 15 more minutes or so. Oh God, that thing hammered it. That was the hardest bite I've got yet. Like that's a thousand percent for sure. What was that? That was weird. That was not a drum and that thing slaughtered it. <laughs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. That might have been old white bass. Oh, I got another one. That one doesn't quite feel as gamey though. Maybe. I was getting my bites and my fish farther out for a while, but it seems like some fish have moved up close. And we got old drum butt again in the mouth. Too big to flip, so we're gonna have to do our first solo net job should be interesting but I think we can get it done I want to know what that last fish was though probably was a drum but it really looked like something else get over here 
Nope. Got him. <clears throat> Got his ass, boys and girls. Solo drop net. About lost a damn pole. Very mangy, but oh my god, that thing is long. They just don't look that big from up here, you know? They just don't look that big. I'm gonna give this old timer a graceful release. And I'm sorry, you're basically just looking at my nuts right now, but I'm trying to focus on not getting hooked and getting the hook out of the net so I can drop Bud back down. God, that fish before just smoked it. Big old drum, bud. He swam right back into the net, didn't he? He did. He's like aiming for it at this point. Nope. That time we got him out. That time we got him out. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? I know it's kind of blade bait buffaloes and the asshole and drum buds but we got a chance at something great old schmedium homie nathan and johnny boy were here that not that long ago and they hooked a few flatheads on blade baits in the mouth so i think their experience is kind of keeping me going and keeping me charged up to keep casting keep bumping Keep bouncing, keep slicing, and dicing. Have I said it in this video yet? Discount code stash 6 fishing. Thanks for supporting me and my channel, guys. Well, you guys too, but... Six Cents is my only sponsor. And I like their stuff. And stuff. And stuff. Pip out. No. <gasps> what is that? I got something weird like on the fall. Uh, there it is, kids. God, not kids again. I got a sauger and ate it on the fall. I don't think there's length limits on saugers. He looks kind of small, but we'll see him once we get him up. He's fat. My catfish pole just blew over. Kind of hooked in the under chin, so we'll let him go. But Decent one. Saw guy. About hooked myself. Not bad. Yeah, I'll grab it. I was wondering when the wind was going to get it. He does look tasty, but wasn't completely legally hooked, but he legitimately hit it on the ball, so I could probably justify it myself, but yeah. Was that saga? It was. How many of those you caught? Uh, not very many up here. We caught a decent amount down the way, though, this morning. They kind of stopped biting, though, at like 8 a.m. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go find our humble abode. Got our chores done for now. The saw guys are cleaned. I actually recorded it, but you know, I think YouTube's already mad at me enough that I probably shouldn't put any blood and guts. Instead, we'll put that though. Let's see what we got. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Damn. Yurt life, boys and girls. Yurt life. How romantic. We are at Acorns Resort. I asked them if they wanted to sponsor this series by giving me a free place, and they said no. Well, actually, they said, why don't you write a written proposal or something like that? And I was like, ma'am, I never learned how to write. 
Um, so yeah, pretty good day at the spillway. It wasn't uh, anything too magical just because, I mean, it was mainly drum and like running into Buffalo, but I had a good time. Huge shout out to Dylan for uh, showing me around and I gotta get out of my yurt for a little bit, get a couple things. There is power. But it looks like there's only one outlet. No, I got outlets over there. This yurt's badass. I call them and I normally get a cabin here because, uh, yeah, even though this is the worst of the two docks at this lake, it's uh, right here. So we're going to fish uh, this dock tonight and then we're going to fish the good dock tomorrow. But yeah, the Kansas, uh, Kansas Tour dos continues eventually in a couple days. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Yeah, I'm not really sure what else there is to say. I'm gonna get old Panty out and uh, walk my happy ass down the trail and see if we can't catch some fish. But save that for another time. See you later. Stuff thanks, pal. Yurt, yurt. Goodbye. Uh -huh.